I'm going to try and give you the quick, succinct review that you deserve for this gun. This is the Judgment Hand Cannon, a 140 stasis weapon from the Prophecy Dungeon, and it sucks. If you're looking for a, like a raw dueler hand cannon, uh, this isn't that. But if you're looking for a cool kill chaining hand cannon, this is, uh, this is also not that. But if you're looking for a 140 stasis hand cannon with some really cool build synergy, this is, uh, this is not that either. Were, were you wanting some good news? Because I really don't, I really don't have any. Other than maybe that the origin trait is pretty cool. But uh, other than that, this weapon, I think it belongs in the trash. If you click off the video and learn nothing else, at least you know that much. Let me take a few minutes to at least validate that stance a bit, because I know there's some people who are out there like, I stand judgment, you have pissed me off. <laughs> And that's fine, but let's be objective and I'll unpack some things for you. I always try to be objective and even try to find the bright side to things. But uh, basically, I used several rolls on this thing for several hundred final blows in PvP. And I found that it excelled at nothing. Other than, you know, being the equivalent of wearing cinder blocks on your shoes and trying to run a decent mile with a respectable 7 minute completion time. I found that I had to work twice as hard to get half as many kills as I do with, you know, any other hand cannon that I'm familiar with. Let me talk about the range first, because that's a really, really important stat value on 140s, even more now than ever before, because right now in the new sandbox with the increased health pool on players, I mean, you need to hit, you know, full damage for three headshots in a row if you want to drop a Guardian within the optimal TTK on a 140 hand cannon. But if any of your bullets get reduced damage due to drop off range, you're going to have to go back in for a fourth, you know, a fourth shot. And the base range on the Judgment is 44. Now, if you have, you know, you don't have range values memorized, let me throw out some other range values for other 140 hand cannons in the kinetic slot. Ace of Spades, for example, has 75 base range. 75 compared to 44. I, Hawk Moon is not known for having huge range, but even it's got 52. Eyes Luna has 51, kept confidence is down there with 46, which is pretty close, Ostringer 46, but DFA even has more range, so does Fatebringer. Listen, you have double digit choices for hand cannons with better range. Judgment has some of the worst range we have ever seen on a 140 hand cannon. And just look at this, it's going to lead to a lot, and I do mean a lot of engagements like this right here where you three tap all three headshots, three yellow numbers, at a range that, you know, any other hand cannon, that would be a kill. But this, the other guy gets to walk away. And the judgment just kind of looks at you and it says, sorry mate, couldn't do it, vibe was off. But at least you can make up for that terrible range, right? By getting, you know, hammer forged rifling or extended barrel, full bore, even small bore. Wait, nope, just kidding. Judgment doesn't have barrels. It's got optics, which are objectively worse. So yeah. <laughs> The Judgment doesn't have what it takes to hang in the current sandbox against ARs that double its effective range and a crucible with a map rotation that includes predominantly large maps like Vostok, Disjunction, Multiplex, Midtown, Eternity, Widow's Court, and more. If you want to try and hang with a Judgment, good luck. Another thing that sucks about the Judgment is the sight picture. I feel like I'm aiming down the sights of an 80s Cadillac. Like. Forget having a massive dump truck. This thing has a Carnival cruise ship for a rear end. And the reticle, it doesn't sit high above it to give you a nice clear sight picture. It sits very low to the weapon frame. It's an objectively awful sight picture with very limited visibility. It also makes it harder to track targets that are you know, actively moving. Now, with many weapons that have big drawbacks, they're offset with something about the weapon that does stand out in a big way. You know, at least one redeeming factor. We talked about the awful range, we talked about the terrible sight picture, but let's chat about the rest of the stat package. And guys, it's bad. It's real bad. The four most important stat categories, the ones that can all be masterworks, right? I'm talking about range, stability, handling, and reload speed. On the judgment, they are all under 50. Yep, they are all sub 50 at base. In my looking, I haven't found a single non-Sunset 140 Kinetic Hand Cannon that is sub-50 in all main stat categories. Just this one. Kept confidence is low, but it at least has 56 stability. Ayas Luna has that 64 stability and more than 50 range, and massive aim assist. Spare Rations got crapped on when it was reissued, 
in Season of the Deep because people hated its stat package. But even that has a massive 71 handling and a killer 56 reload speed with well over 80 aim assist. I mean, the judgment is so unbelievably bad, I genuinely wish they would have vaulted it and kept the swift verdict in the loot pool instead. I can't think of a single feasible reason to keep one of these outside of one thing, and that's that you just like it because it looks and sounds cool. Heck, you may love this gun, that's totally fine, but you also have to be realistic and recognize that it isn't a good hand cannon. You can do good with it. I mean, it's a firearm, right? It can kill guardians, but it's like bringing a donkey to the Kentucky Derby. It'll finish, but at the end of the race, you still let everyone see your whole ass out there on the track. You get it? Because it's a, it's, it's a donkey. I suppose I should at least mention the perks on the weapon, but I'll tell you right now, there's nothing there that can offset the massive handicaps the gun has intrinsically. In the first column, we've got slide shot, moving target, Headstone, Enlightened Action, Encore, and Demolitionist. I ended up preferring Encore the most in PvP in this column because getting a kill with the weapon at least then bumps out the range and the stability to be kind of on par with other hand cannons for a few seconds. In the second column, you've got Vorpal Weapon, Timed Payload, Opening Shot, Multi Kill Clip, Eye of the Storm, and Adrenaline Junkie. Now there's some interesting synergy here with Headstone and Timed Payload, but that's more for PvE than for PvP. Opening shot was something that I tried as a means of offsetting the range handicap on the gun, but it just helped me get full damage on the first bullet and not the second two. So ultimately it, it, it didn't really offer any tangible value. I was still having to go in for that fourth shot. I ended up strangely preferring Adrenaline Junkie with Encore because I could artificially inflate the range even more for more kill chaining, but even so, there are so many better options for kill chaining in the kinetic slot, so I can't ultimately recommend it. At the end of the day, I found that I felt more confident and comfortable even with 180 hand cannons like the Posterity and heck, even the Survivor's Epitaph in the current sandbox. I dropped almost 60 kills in a single match with my Posterity, and then I followed it up with barely breaking 20 in the next game with the Judgment. My recommendation is that you don't waste your time. Thanks so much for watching the video today. Let me know what you think about the judgment down below and feel free to disagree with me because you are totally allowed to be wrong on the internet. I'm kidding, that's a joke. If you love it, that's fine. Tell me why. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like as that's the best free way to support my content here on YouTube and consider subscribing for additional Destiny 2 content. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.